Hey guys, it's Jeremy here at Music Meltdown, back with another video. Whatever today, guys, is something a little bit different. Um, inspired by my buddy over at Metal Never Dies, uh, Mark's been showing off his collection in parts. And I have got quite a few comments over the last year or so about people saying, show us, show us your um, total collection. It, mostly in my update videos, I get those comments. And I've been putting it off, to be honest, uh, all this time because as you can see behind me, I try to angle this camera. On the floor down there, I have all my CDs. They're just stacked up, um, not in any kind of order, like they're all over the place. And I've been holding off on doing the collection videos because they're not in order, they're all over the place. And I've been waiting to buy shelves behind me here. My room is a weird shape, like the roof goes on an angle at like a certain height, so I can't buy standard like tall shelves. So I'm kind of looking for the best kind of shelves for this room. And, uh, and so I just why, why I've been putting it off. Uh, but I will jump in and do just my quick vinyl video to show off that collection part of it. Um, I started buying vinyl about 15 years ago. There was one year only where I kind of bought maybe 15. And uh, within the same year, I kind of decided to just not do that, not to buy vinyl actually. Uh, I've It started not to make sense to me to buy it in multiple formats and because my the bulk of my collection was already CDs. I didn't want to go down that rabbit hole and really try to spend money on uh, vinyl and buying a lot of albums I already had and, and I, what I can just buy, instead of doing that, I could have spent the money on new albums from I don't already have. So I decided not to buy vinyl anymore. I know they sound a lot better if you have a good stereo, etc. But in the long run, it just made more sense to me to stick to CDs, especially with the inflation in the last year, couple of years. It's already hard enough to buy new music as it is. It's getting so expensive. Um, so I guess I'm kind of glad I made that decision a long time ago, but uh, let's jump right in guys anyways. This will be a quick video. There's only about 15 or so that I have. Uh, the first one here, and these are pretty much albums I bought that were a good price at the time and just kind of my overall like really favorite albums that I really wanted on vinyl that I just really like. First one here, Mastodon, Crack the Sky. You don't really have to say much about this. All-time classic album. Most people's favorite in their catalog, not quite my favorite overall, if you saw my ranking video, but a really solid album, really killer stuff. That's the back there, really good album. How am I gonna do this? And the next one, of course, is uh, doesn't really need any explanation. Master of Puppets by Metallica. Classic in the thrash realm, probably the most popular thrash album of all time, or one of them, really good album. Another one. Rust in Peace by Megadeth, my favorite Megadeth album. When I saw this, I, I grabbed it right away. Really cool cover. And uh, that's the back there. Another thrash classic. Uh, this one jumped out at me. I think I got this for like 10 or 15 bucks. The debut um, uh, Blue Cheer record. Really good stuff. Really kind of heavy fuzz distortion, bluesy rock. Some people might argue were the uh, pioneers of metal before Sabbath, uh, but I still stick with Sabbath, but a really good record nonetheless. Another classic from one of my all-time favorite bands, Motorhead, Ace of Spades. Had to pick this one up. Classic album. Everyone knows this album. Really good stuff. Going back to some old school rock and roll, uh, The Beatles with Sgt. Peppers. This is the gatefold version. I think it's 180 gram as well. But I really love the Beatles, uh, one of my favorite bands of all time. So I picked this up. I have all their stuff on CD already, the whole collection. Uh, this one I might get some flack for, uh, Nirvana, never mind. A lot of people, you know, in the metal world will bash uh, the grunge music. But before I got into metal, as stated on other videos, I, my first music I was exposed to that was guitar driven was all, was alternative from the early 90s and grunge. So for me, the Nirvana album was a masterpiece. Like I loved it. When I was like 12, 13, 14, I listened to this album every day. And it's pretty much the album of my youth, like anything grunge, Pearl Jam. I love that stuff. That's what I got into first before metal. And I don't give a fuck if it makes me look poser, but I still love it, still kills. And the next one is my favorite Mastodon album, Crack the Sky. I got this at the same time as, um, not Crack the Sky, sorry, uh, Blood Mountain. I got this at the same time as Crack the Sky. Always loved this album with The Wolf Was Loose, Sleeping Giant, Crystal Skull, Colony of Birchman, just 
love these songs on this album. Love the artwork too. My favorite cover, I think, from them or one of them. Really good stuff. And one of my other favorite albums of all time, John Lennon, Imagine. Fucking love John Lennon, as you can see. I have the, the tattoo on my arm. One of my favorite songs ever written. Very simplistic, but a beautiful song. So much meaning behind it. And uh, it really rings true nowadays with the fucked up world we're living in. How people are and people just care about money and OnlyFans and it's fucked up. So really rings through now, um, nowadays, unfortunately. Next one here is another John Lennon album, Mind Games. I'm a huge John Lennon fan. He was always my favorite uh, of the Beatles. Love his songwriting and his musicianship. And uh, have all, I have his whole um, catalog on CD already as well. Uh, the next one here is my favorite album by this band as well, Radiohead, OK Computer. Always really dug Radiohead, love their sound, really cool, kind of eerie, kind of alternative rock, proggy elements mixed in there, but yeah, has some really cool songs in here. This is the Gatefold one as well, I won't take it out, but 180 gram, definitely was a little bit more of an expensive purchase at the time. Next one's a more local band from back in the day. Uh, it's uh, Woods of Ypres, Woods 5, Gray Skies, and Electric Light. Love this album. Unfortunately, the guy uh, is dead now, but um, really eerie album, but really rocking at the same time. Great guitars. I uh, always love this album. I have it on CD as well. I have all these on CD, actually, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, really good album. If you're not familiar with this, this band, definitely check them out. But if you're from Canada, especially from Toronto area, you should know those guys. And next one, another big album, uh, but Back in Black, ACDC's biggest selling album of all time. You know, Back in Black, Hell's, in, Hell's Bell, Shoot, Shoot the Thrill, Rock Me All Night Long. It's, it's you know, who doesn't know this album? It's, it's massive. And I think at the time I got this for like 10 bucks brand new. That's how much, how much cheaper they were back then. And my favorite uh, vinyl in my collection, the last one here, Opeth, uh, Blackwater Park, my second favorite album of all time. Love the artwork. It's got the matte finish on this one. Beautiful vinyl. And uh, yeah, Gatefold again, 180 gram quality. Really good stuff. Love this album. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I have for vinyl. Um, I might be selling these off uh, actually coming up, or at least some of them. Uh, there's a friend of mine uh, who just started some buying some vinyl. She's not really into metal, but she might want like my John Lennon and Beatles album, so I might just give those to her. Uh, she's helped me out with a bunch of stuff over the years, and I uh, might just give her, give her those for free. Uh, but yeah, those are my vinyls, guys. Stay tuned for the CDs. I won't be able to do those until I finally, you know, get into my CDs and at least alphabetize them in stacks. Uh, so I'll go maybe letter by letter and go through them. I'm not sure how many I have in total. I think a couple thousand. Uh, we'll get into that momentarily. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, thanks, Mark, for the inspiration to do the video. And stay tuned for the CD collection uh, videos coming soon. Keep it metal.